everyone, it's Carrie here and welcome to another weekly dose of inspiration to build a successful business. So we are nearly in the last quarter of 2014, which is crazy. I don't know where this year has gone. I can't believe it's nearly October, or at least it's nearly October whilst I'm filming this. And as I'm actually over in California at the moment, this is a total side note, but I'm in over in California and it's like ha Halloween on steroids over here. I have never seen anything like it. We celebrate Halloween back in England, but not on this level. So I kind of got really excited about it all and I decided to buy some cards and I bought one for my brother and hopefully he is not watching this video because otherwise I'm gonna ruin his surprise. Um, I found this card and I had to show you this. Oh my gosh, it dances and <laughs> it cracked me up so much. It's probably going to run out of battery by the time I send it to him. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, Halloween chat aside, um, I do love Halloween though. I cannot wait to go to a pumpkin patch. Anyway, it is nearly the last quarter. And so I decided to sit down with myself and have a little quiet moment and do a little mini goal review. You know, we're at the end of the year, we're into the last quarter. I want to end this year on a bang. And I'm sure you really want to end this year on a bang too. And in order to do that, we have to assess where we're at, where we're at with the goals we set for ourselves and then what we need to reset our goals and figure out how we are gonna go out on a bang this year, how we're gonna end this year and make it amazing. So the first thing I did when I sat down with myself in my little review is I thought about the goals I set for myself earlier on this year. And when I came to think about it, there were really three main goals I wanted to make happen this year. The first was I really wanted to create a really successful membership group. I wanted to be able to create great content, have an amazing community and really build it up. The second thing I wanted to do was start a personal blog. And the third thing I wanted to do was create a physical business planner for 2015. So out of my three goals, I have only really managed to stay on track with one of them. <laughs> and that is the membership, which is amazing. And I'm so excited and I'm so pleased about that. But what on earth happened to my other two goals? How come I didn't make them happen? So I'm sure, I mean, a lot of us set goals for ourselves in the new year that we don't manage to make happen by the end of the year. Um, and I think the way we can actually make more of our goals happen is by taking time out throughout the year to assess what on earth is going on and why we're off track with them. So as I was sat down the other day, I was thinking, right, why is it that I haven't managed to make this physical business planner for 2015, which I actually told people about? And I realized that there was a pretty easy answer for this one. Um, I'm doing this with my sister and she was getting married this year. And so we had to wait till after she got married. So in July, we came and we sat down and we chatted about it. But when I got in touch with the manufacturers to find out all about shipping and how long it was all gonna take and all that stuff, I realized that it was absolutely 100 million percent not feasible. There was no way we were ever gonna get it ready by the, to start to launch the whole concept by the end of the year. So, Unfortunately, I realized that I'm gonna to have to put that goal on hold till next year and realize how important it is to actually get your timelines in order when you are creating goals for yourself to really be clear on the time frame of things and how long things are gonna take. Um, so that was a really quite a big lesson. And then I started to think about why I hadn't created a personal blog because this is something I could definitely have done. There was nothing stopping me. And you might think this is really random. Why on earth do I wanna create a personal blog? Because obviously I do my weekly videos. But I really wanted to start a personal blog to be able to share more personal insights with everyone. I thought it'd be a great way to kind of develop a, a deeper relationship with my audience and hopefully to share some really helpful things that I've learned along my, you know, along my journey. Like this year alone, I've, I've done some pretty cool stuff. I did a TEDx talk, which was amazing, and I could have shared so much stuff about it. I have grown the membership group to over 600 people, which is incredible and I'm so so pleased about that and there's so much I could share around that. I did, um, I've hosted webinars with other experts that have generated over $10,000 plus uh, that I've done. I could share exactly how I managed to make it happen. I could share how I reached out to those experts and asked them if they wanted to do stuff. I posted my own webinar, done my own webinar that was really successful. Um, like I've done so many different things, you know, I've interviewed really successful people, I could share loads about that. So there's so many different little things that I could share and I really want to share with people and because I feel like at the very least, hopefully it'll just be helpful. Like even if it just helps one person to make some progress in a particular area, then I feel like that will be successful. And another goal for me is that I feel writing's quite therapeutic. I think when you sit down and write, you get stuff out of your head that just stays locked up inside there if you don't take time to write, to sit down and write it out. And I, so that's why one of the other reasons why I really wanted to start writing more of a personal blog 
was that I, so I could get it all out so I could think about what I had done or what I, you know not only sharing the su successful stuff but the stuff that has gone horribly wrong too like there's been plenty of stuff that hasn't gone wrong that hasn't gone right this year you know trying to fix up new websites website parts breaking it's been disastrous stuff like that I could have shared other stuff on my website I should anyway I could go on about this forever but there's obviously there's so many different things that I wanted to share anyway so why on earth haven't I done it and so I was thinking about this and I thought well I haven't made the time to do it that's for for sure I set myself a really vague goal I wanted to write a personal blog I didn't really think about why I was doing it or what I was doing it for I didn't plan it out I didn't plan out what I was going to write about I didn't come up with a content schedule for myself I didn't actually schedule it out I didn't say to myself right on this day, I'm going to start to sit down and think about what I'm going to do. On this day, I'm going to sit down and create a content plan. On this day, I'm going to write. On this day, I'm going to write. No, I didn't do that. I didn't do any of that stuff. And then on top of that, I had this little voice in my head that kept saying to me, Carrie, why on earth would anyone want to read this stuff? Why would people be interested in it? You're just going to, it's going to be silly, don't bother. So I had this little voice there that I wasn't even consciously aware I was allowing it to, well, I wasn't even aware that it was influencing my decision to not take action on it. And then I also had this other worry, worrying thought rather, of what if I run out of things to talk about? What if I run out of things to say? Um, which is a stupid thing to think because new things happen all the time. So after this, after my little analysis, I realised that I could really rectify this situation. So I did. I decided that for the last quarter, I'm going to get on and do my personal blog. Doubts, fears, worries aside, I am not going to let them influence me or hold me back. So I made that decision for a start. And then I just decided that I need to set myself way clearer goals. I need to actually plan it out and I need to create a schedule for when I'm going to take the action that I need to take in order to make it happen. And just get it all out of my head and make it clear, make it clear for myself so I can see what I need to do. And I realized that that's, um, these, these are all things that where people f tend to go wrong. So they'll set themselves a goal, but maybe it is a bit vague and fuzzy. Maybe they haven't set a deadline for themselves. Maybe they haven't planned it out or scheduled it out. So they don't know what they're doing and when they're doing it. Or maybe Maybe they have got this voice inside their head that says this is crazy you're never going to make it happen and they are unconsciously paying attention to it and I think that these are the, some of the biggest things that hold us back so I really wanted to make this to share with you that you can rectify it if you have set goals for yourself this year that you really wanted to make happen it's not too late we have still got a few months left of this year to make sure we go out on a bang so I am suggesting that you take some time now, whether it's just 10 or 20 minutes, just today, take yourself off to a quiet spot, get a pad and a pen, and sit down and do a mini goal review with yourself. Sit down and think about the goals that you set for yourself at the beginning of the year. Think about how far you've got with them. Are there any goals you've gone off track with? If so, why have you gone off track with them? And really think about it. Try and, you know, even if it's just writing and writing and writing to yourself to find out why, and then start afresh. Start afresh with the last quarter of this year and set yourself new, clearer, really specific goals. Make that plan for yourself and create a schedule so you know what action you need to take and when you need to take it over the next few months. Just get really clear on it. So just that in itself will help you to really make progress on your goals and to really end this year with a bang. That is what I definitely intend to do. So you are going to hopefully start seeing some um, personal blog posts from me, which is if you have anything you want me to share, whether it's about the membership group, website stuff, Facebook stuff, um, about webinars, creating videos, anything whatsoever, or even TED Talk speaking or I don't know, in how to interview other people, anything whatsoever, let me know or leave a comment below and, and ask any questions and I'm happy to share anything that I've learned um, or anything that I failed at so that hopefully you don't make the same mistakes. So leave a comment below and I will. So it's not too late. Hopefully by sharing this with you, it'll just even, even if it just makes you think, oh yeah, there are actually goals that I really wanted to make happen make them happen. We still have time. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, and I'll see you next week for another dose of inspiration. Bye.